Well, folks, today we have a happy ending in this video. Let's just get right into it. Coming in at our number 11 spot. Drop a thumbs up. Let's go for 11 likes on the video because we are hearing that Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is getting a free access. And it is coming on March 16. And quickly after, a ton of people got mad. And you can... <laughs> You can see everybody is mad in the chat. I mean, damn, son. Call of Duty, you guys really doing that? I just cannot even compute, ladies and gentlemen. Some people out there dropping their review of the game. Uh, these are not my words, guys. This is all the, the homies are on Twitter. Man says that, can, can you guys add more maps to rank play? Same maps get repetitive. My God, the entire game is repetitive. But we're getting a five days free access. Can a brother perhaps get like five years or something? Especially like button if you agree, but also check this out. So Face Tico has called out Face Clan saying he's sick or being walked over. Roll it. I just owe you something because it's such a privilege to be in phase, right? I've been in this gray zone where like I'm not the owners of these guys because like no Obviously, I'm not nearly as important as these guys, but I'm also not getting paid for anything. I'm doing I'm just in the middle Hey, you're a valuable member. Here's a contract Nah, nah, because it's such a privilege to be in phase. I'm so fortunate to be in phase I never asked for anything and I just said yes and yes and yes and did everything you ever asked for without ever asking for anything because I thought I was going to be included with y'all. Someone else can come in as late as last year who's not from this industry, never lifted a finger for face, probably didn't even know what face was, and get three times the amount of shares that I have and a monthly or annually salary that's more money than I've ever been paid from face by a month. All of these Damn. years, we always hear talent first, talent first. Talent is yeah. the most important thing. No, we're not. You've always showed us otherwise. You've always showed us that these recruits that you make, the celebrities who get more, like Snoop Dogg and his son has more money Bruh. and more shares than a lot of FaZe members who were here for so more shares. one. It's not even just about me at this point. There's so many people. Yes, Rain is right. For everyone that's saying Rain's tripping, Rain is the only guy who has balls to speak up. He's the only one that's not letting them walk all over us because he cares about the brand. I care about the brand. Bruh. And quickly after, people started dropping DDTs. Men said that not anymore. Y'all ain't grinding no more. Give our boy a loving home. Keemstar, get back so the Keemstar show and cover this. Man, this guy sound like a baby. Like, really? You getting mad at other people for getting the light shine on them? Sit down, little boy. What the hell am I hearing? These guys are a bunch of babies being paid to be... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is pain across the streets. A lot of people are jumping around, people dropping suplexes. It is just wild out here. And this man came out, a man from the streets ended up dropping a footage of his rain because three months ago he ended up exposing Face Clan. And now the homie Tico just 48 minutes exposing the Face Clan. And man, I mean, man. I want to know your expertise on the situation, but check this out. At our number nine spot, let's go for nine likes on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. We cover news every single day. Okay, but exclusive PS5 Pro is in development and it could release late 2024. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And people in the chat just cannot even compute. I shout out to the homie Drip God Gaming for adding me in the situation. Okay, cool. Barely any true gen games, but why not? Just not needed. So many games are still cross gen and not getting anywhere near the most of the new boxes. I want to know your thoughts on the situation because initially we had a rumor and we had that manufacturing company. They also did say that PS5 Pro is going to be coming out like 2023, 2024. That was like almost a year or two years ago at this point. But then the, the rumor kind of fell short. A lot of people started believing that we're not gonna get it because yep there was a time when i was believing it a lot of people was believing it and just two days ago one of you stud muffin actually commented and one of you said that are we gonna be getting ps5 pro and i believe i responded by saying that it it feels kind of 50 50 it doesn't feel like we're we're gonna get it and today we have a brand new rumor right and apparently this rumor is coming from Tom Henderson, he has joined forces with, uh, yeah, you can see Tom Henderson, he has joined forces with Insider Gaming, and they are apparently saying that Mark Cerny is going to be having that ray tracing, like accelerated ray tracing, and Homeboy ended up catching them with their pants down, and you can see... <laughs> 
We got rendering device. We got this image right here. Uh, I definitely want to see you scientists actually decipher all of this because we got these slides like uh, tuck, 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 and I'm not sure like uh, shader passes root not in read to RTU. They're talking about ray tracing and there's just bunch of Shiza in here and apparently this one is for PS5 Pro and we're talking about Tom Henderson. He ended up leaking the Lucia's Bunda as well for GTA 6. He leaked Call of Duty Battlefield and he has been very good when it comes to leaking Call of Duty stuff and recently has been leaking a lot of stuff for PlayStation. I believe recently he leaked something about PlayStation that also came true. So a lot of people are believing so much so that Mystic came on. Those of you that do not know Mystic runs a Sony Pony channel. He has a dedicated channel for the PlayStation Nation. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation gang rise up. Uh, gang gang. Tom has rock solid sources on a lot of PlayStation stories lately. So this is interesting. Color me surprise. I was leaning, to leaning towards PS5 Pro not even happening this generation due to cost timing and diminishing returns that would erode away PlayStation 6 benefits. And right now the story and the rumor is that officially Sony did say that we're not going to be getting PlayStation 6 by 2027. And Tom started doing helicopters with his willy by saying that, bruh, like you thought 2027? My, we ain't getting that till 2028. And he says that Insider Gaming understands that the next generations of PlayStation is going to be coming out by 2028. And in between, that's when we're going to be getting the PlayStation 5 Pro. And could you imagine GTA 6 on the PlayStation 5 Pro? Oh, I mean, that would be insane because rumors are saying that we're going to be getting uh, GTA 6 in holiday 2024. I'll get to that news in just a little bit because we had a new league. I did make a dedicated video earlier on the channel. So definitely check it out afterwards on the channel. But I'll, I'll talk about it in the video, okay? And Jeff Grubb did say that we're going to be having the next PlayStation showcase before E3. So that could happen between now and June because E3 is going to be happening in June. It's quite sad to say, but E3 is on live support, my guy. Like, Xbox just confirmed that they're not going to be there. And the reason, allegedly, the rumor here is that they have busted all of their cash and they have spent all of their cash on buying Activision Blizzard and they don't have any money anymore. I mean, damn, bro. I, I just cannot. <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, you might want to clench your butt cheeks because this story is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, okay? It is wilder than that one time Andrew Tate done that podcast, okay? But apparently the Hustler University members are absolutely wild and out right now. Uh, people are not believing the story and this is absolutely wild. Andrew Tate will remain behind bars for another 30 days after Romanian court denied his appeal. I mean, damn, son. Like, guys, say whatever, but this situation is truly wild, okay? This is for, like, the fifth or the sixth time, and so far, there are no charges. They haven't charged him. Obviously, they are officially saying that there are suspicion of him uh, doing the R word and other, other stuff, right, that I cannot say on YouTube, but there are suspicions, and those are only suspicions. Right now, they're searching for evidence, and so far, officially, they're saying they don't have any evidence. This is why they're keeping him detained, and this is why they're keeping him chained up, but another 30 days, I mean, damn, man. And homeboys are saying that this guy's never coming out. People are dropping those clown emoji. And a man from the streets came out and says that, bro, gotta stop asking at this point, my guy. he It's not about him asking a girl out that he can stop asking a girl out because she said no. It's not about that. Mother is straight up in jail, okay? So obviously, he's gonna be asking, but apparently homies are saying that he should stop asking at this point. One in the chat, if you should stop asking too, uh, le let me know what y'all think, guys. Bruh. And for this story, so Sony ponies and Xbox, y'all might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around because Microsoft has signed a third Call of Duty deal. This time they have signed another 10 year deal with Boostroid uh, to bring Xbox PC games and Activision Blizzard titles like Call of Duty to cloud gaming service. Damn. And ladies and gentlemen, people actually got a live footage of Jim Ryan right now. Uh, breaking Microsoft has signed a 10 year deal to bring Call of Duty touchscreen ordering to you that I had Taco Bell restaurants. Bruh. And my god, this story is wilder than that one time Yongya made those facial expressions, right? This is absolutely insane. Like, the deal hasn't gone through. Yup, it is pending approval. Chances are 50 50. Of course, the Xbox are sitting there rubbing their hands, waiting uh, with anticipation whether this deal will go through or not. The chances are kind of 50 50 but with recent news it seems like that it's gonna go through that's essentially what we're hearing guys but the deal hasn't gone through and microsoft out here they're just signing 10 year deals 10 year deals after 10 year deals with everybody out there and check this out right apparently per the wall street journal's interview with microsoft's president 
more distribution deals for Xbox and ABK games are coming. Microsoft has also stated that Sony still hasn't signed the Call of Duty deal and the two companies are not currently in discussion. So the homie Jim Ryan, he's not picking up their, their phones. He's saying that we're not gonna be signing the deal. I wanna know your thoughts and I understand that everybody's sick and tired of this story. I'm also sick and tired. At this point, most people just want this to be over with whether the deal go through or not. Obviously, some of you don't want this deal going through. Some of you want this deal going through. I, I wanna know your thoughts on the situation. A sunny be careful and start talking with Microsoft. The likelihood of the deal going through is high enough. Sony doesn't need to sign the deal for Call of Duty to still release on PlayStation. Sony doesn't really need to do anything. Microsoft will still release Activision games on PlayStation. We also have homies coming out of coma all here. I mean, damn son, that is just absolutely wild Bruh. stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna know your thoughts. But check this out, right? Apparently Activision Blizzard Chief Marketing Officer has left the company. Per his LinkedIn, this is the second C-level executive to now leave this month as the company chief operating officer is also leaving. I mean, damn, son. Like, these Activision shells, Activision employees are dropping like flies right now. And this is absolutely insane because recently, Lulu, she has been acting kind of tough, right? She has been like, the deal gotta go through. She has been fully supporting the deal going through. She has also been trolling PlayStation and she has been putting some wonderful posts over on the social media. And also a lot of the Xbox and even the Sony ponies they won't tell you but most of them are catching feelings in this situation but let's keep a buck 50 here okay most of these executives they're just waiting for the cash money to come in okay because if the deal goes through Bobby Kotick will be getting like 400 plus million he's gonna be getting that 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 golden parachute yo can a brother get like two pennies or something like Bruh. that uh, drop a thumbs up if you deserve to get two uh 200 million at least okay at the very least I think you deserve it but do you think you deserve it drop a thumbs up if you deserve it and pretty sure that Lulu is also gonna be making that mad paper guys most of them want the deal going through because they want to make that paper and after that they're probably gonna quit right but some of them are just quitting beforehand is it that they realize that they're not gonna be getting any money from the deal uh, i'm not sure guys and ladies and gentlemen this is probably a miracle in the making because this is the second time we're hearing the story right first of a cyberpunk that came out 15 fps on the last gen and obviously a lot of people saw that and a lot of people went into coma last gen consoles that ass went into coma after playing cyberpunk and months later cyberpunk made a comeback and check this out apparently now battlefield 2042 is making a comeback <gasps> I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers, I'm seeing a lot of Reddit investigators, even the Twitter detectives. Not necessarily the Twitter detectives, I'll, I'll, see, I'll show you guys some of the messages. We have some, uh, you know, we have some spicy comments tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But check this out, I've made a post seeing a lot of people saying Battlefield 2042 is back and it is great now. Looks like that Battlefield pulled out Cyberpunk devs listen and the community's back, that's great to hear honestly. And basically the general consensus is that it is still the worst Battlefield game I've ever played. <laughs> But they have made some improvements since this release and essentially the situation here is that Battlefield is now free to play and a lot of people that quit after launch they came back and some of them are actually enjoying others not so much and people that have been playing the game since launch they're not really finding much but overall this is a good step and a lot of people are saying that 2042 is better than what it was at launch but it still is the worst Battlefield game it's poor still the movement sucks the maps are way too big the loadout system is a major mess and it's just so bad it's mad to me like it can be fun but i feel like they dropped the ball when it came to the time period tech etc it doesn't feel like a futuristic game it feels like another modern battle with a with a couple decent new gadgets future is so realistic well it's lies it's only back it has a player base because it's free in all consoles this game is garbage there's no flow to the gameplay at all the maps are awful mouse input is broken so the twitter detectives are not having it guys uh everybody's hating on the game right now but a lot of people i heard it okay a lot of people are saying it's better than ever now i want to know your thoughks on the story you think it's good you think it's bad let me know and also guys check this out okay everybody clench your butt cheeks this is the wildest story on the internet right now so Sneeko, apparently, he ended up getting cancelled. And we're not talking about him being cancelled, like, nilly-willy, right? This man ended up getting cancelled, deadass, 
to the point where he's on another platform by the name of Rumble. It oh, seems shit. like that anyone and everyone who gets cancelled, they get sent to, uh, just like how in Call of Duty gets sent to Gulag, you get sent to Rumble. So the homie now is on Rumble and he says that pattern recognition, this collage is everyone who advocated for my cancellation and he ended up dropping the big homie Moist Critical in the situation and he has been going absolutely wild to the point where Moist Critical responded by saying this, holy shiza you pathetic sensitive soya little worm, I made fun of you for watching your GF get effed by numerous I mean astaghfirullah man and this is something that I heard Sneeko say as well like he liked watching his GF doing easter eggs with another man in front of him i mean damn bro like that's something that i heard but he says i also insulted you for defending child p that is a, like a massive accusation i never really heard of that uh, i'm not saying it's true i'm not saying it's not true uh, i don't know about that that's not cancellation that's just spinning on you for being a pitiful sad cannot say the word on youtube and then sneaker responded by saying that you're not special from the other 10 soya boys who say that same thing if you got a problem stop talking on the internet let's solve it so he's like inviting him to box and then charlie responded by saying that got your discord still working on the responses brother i have no problem you started it and i made fun of you in return you're upset about publicly admitting to your i uh, cannot say that word on youtube and get mad at me for bringing it up you should be mad at yourself instead have some self-reflection to which sneaker responded by saying that i'm not upset by my honesty i would honestly knock the daylights out of you and you know it gamers like you get to use the internet to feel big and it's ruining western men get off twitter and say this to my face Damn. and then a man by the name of john he was patrolling around the streets says that lamau bro you ain't got a chance ended up dropping a picture of charlie uh with his packs uh coming out right like that and then he ended up dropping the homie sneakle like that i mean damn man damn Y'all gotta stop with that! But listen, man, Sneeko versus uh, Charlie boxing match, that would be lit, bro. Like, drop a thumbs up if you wanna see that, guys. Uh, we got a whole lot of drama. And, and then another man started hating on the homie Sneeko by saying the average day in the life of Sneeko. Roll it. Are you two dating? <laughs> no, we're not dating. We're just friends. Damn! Is she for real did that to you, bro? I thought y'all were dating this whole time. Leo, are you talking to my girl? Yeah. Are you serious? Wait a bit. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Speaking of GK6, I made a dedicated video earlier today, but check this out, right? So the actor behind Jason, we saw obviously we saw the Lucia, we saw the big bunda leaking out in the, in the gameplay. But alongside that, we also had Jason, right? And Jason, voice actor and actor, is Brian Zambella. He's an actor, camera, and electrical department, and he's a producer also. Apparently, he got a bunch of credits out here, but previously, we do not want to really click on that because upcoming oh, when you click on this one you get grand theft auto vi and it says jason voice the game is in production video game and here it says 2024 oh, and, and recently we have been hearing that this game is gonna be coming out in holiday 2024 and we had a ton of brand new leaks that just came out i covered a lot more in this video click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there check this out guys and i will see you right there